Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon, whichever is currently applicable in time zone. I am Max, and I will be showing you first how to use basic behaviors to improve upon our previously created setup of miners. We will add simple additional elements that make it much more reliable and much more sturdy for our commander, and we make will make it more resilient to cluttering. Luckily, the design will be extremely simple. Let me quickly grab two behavior controllers. One for our commander, second for our power supply. We have to wait for a bit. Okay, let's first fix the power supply, as that will be basically the same code. This is also the reason why we've left one empty socket. Let's go to modify behavior. Now, we know that in our go to register there is a commander. So we will ask it to keep at range, keep target at range to be precise. For clarity, I will add target here just to make sure we can first and foremost see the target, and second to be able to change it without having to restart the entire behavior. First things first, we will ask to check if the target exists. So we will grab data switch and drag the target. Now, if there is no target here, what we want to do is to copy whatever is in go to value to the target. Please note, if there is no go to target, it will basically do just the same. It will not change it, so it will basically stuck, be stuck in the loop. It will be trying to copy new Target. You require a power source to... We want it to happen. If, however, there is a target, we first want our unit not to use simple go to register. It is simple, but as you've seen, it tends to get as close as possible, which is not what we want right now. So, if there is a unit there, so we know target, we can move to the target. We will make sure first not to be bothered by go to. Rest of parameters and registers are completely irrelevant here. And what we will do now is we will change the number. Before we use that, let me quickly show you why. First of all, let's grab move unit at range and grab the target. So, what this behavior will do right now, well, it is night, so it is a pr small problem, but we can see it works nonetheless. Behaviors work irrelevantly relevant of power. So let's start behavior. It first copied the target here and cleaned the go to. However, as you can see, it does exactly what it did. So what's the point of this behavior, as I've said? We want it to keep at range, we don't want it to go as close. This is where the number 
setting set number press to be precise comes we'll grab the target and set the value of distance let us keep four units away from our commander we will set this distance as A and go to the target at A. We are using it this way as we could technically overwrite our target or even set that value manually but we want to make it as robust as possible. With it, when we go all the way out and now we start our behavior, you will see that our bot will go four units, four tiles away from our commander. Let us copy that. We copy it and let's slap additional behavior controller to our mining commander. And we will do a small change. Our behavior is generic enough that it doesn't require move to register to be set. Let's remove it. So now our commander doesn't know where to go. Let's load up our behavior and let's drag our current target to the register. This way we will not be trying to go 333 U blocks away from our resource. Setting out the resource in code allows us to use the same behavior both for commander and for our power supply. And here you can see that even if we go all the way out, our commander will stay four blocks away from the nearest metal. This gives this in turn gives us a bit of space. Unfortunately, it just so happens that our scout has run out of storage place. So let me quickly fix that to show you that indeed our commander will not try to get closer if it doesn't have to. Our scout will quickly drop it. Of course it doesn't have to be a scout, it can be virtually any bot here. And as you can see it now takes care of long range mining or rather longer range mining. This system is quite robust, uh, rather simple as with the exception of behaviors of keeping at range requires only two tags. Basic setup is using basic signals which costs five circuit boards. Advanced setup requires unfortunately three technologies, basic signals, basic structures and behaviors. Basic structures is needed to produce reinforced plates so it is total of 15 circuit boards, 10 reinforced plates and 30 metal plates to start working with behaviors. However, this setup is quite robust as you can see. It shouldn't take too much time to set up and expand it. We of course can copy exactly this design here. Let me quickly strictly copy it and we can also use the rally point to make our improved power supply this time with behavior control
Let's wait for a second. I did consider making additional circuit boards, but it seems I wasn't fast enough. The benefit of using signals is that, well, as you can see, the signals are much faster. There is also one weakness that I like you to keep in mind. When you're using registers, and create a command, most registers will be cleaned up. This is why I recommend to keep the important setups, such as what to mine, in visual register instead and just copy it to the component. This way, as you move, it will still try to mine as soon as it can. This can allow us to quickly relocate our miner from one place to another without having to worry about resetting the design every time. Unfortunately, I happened to put it outside of visual range. And I ran out of space. Let me quickly drop it and then show it again. And as you can see, I disconnected my control and we will see that our bot will now seek again resources. However, as it has no store command and it's outside of grid, you will have to order it either back or order it to drop the items manually. Either way, as you can see, our new power supply happened to finish and happened to move as intended. This is how you can basically improve on your early remote mining. That will be for now. It as it builds upon the previous knowledge and I will see you in the next video in which I will show you both how to automate exploration and construction outside of the grid.